What is up guys? I'm your real Soto and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a e-commerce header which is basically just adding a menu cart icon um, to your header. Now this is the default header on my website so this won't be the header that we'll be creating. Um, but if you are interested in creating a website just like this uh, feel free to uh, look back to one of my videos and I should have it in there or if I don't already, it will probably be uploaded very soon. Um, so let's just dive right in. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is head over to your plugins. And you're going to want to want to install probably just you basically just need um, two plugins. Um, you might even need a third one uh, in case you just don't really want to cr uh, create the header um, template yourself. and You just want to use a template. Then you're going to want to use element kits. So the, the two plugins that you mainly need are um, Elementor, Header, Footer, and Blocks. And the most important one is um, is this one right here, uh, BEW Menu Cart. Um, so this one right here you're going to need, and this one right here you're going to need, and also Elements Kit Lite. I'm not really going to go into installing plugins. I mean, I'm sure all you guys know how to install plugins. Um, so after you have installed those, um, we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and go into our um, appearance and go into header footer builder and as you can tell I do have some um, some footers here from my last video if you I, I'm not really gonna dive too into creating a header um, because I do have two videos on that that you can go ahead and look at I am gonna be focusing more on adding the the menu cart um, so if you feel like uh, I didn't explain things um, that much you can go ahead and watch um, my previous video on creating a header um, in um, in Elementor so what you're gonna need to do is click add new and then select um, header and then select if you just want this entire and on the entire website let's say you just you want a specific page you can do that as well um, you can go over here specific pages and then just select the page but we are going to be doing all pages or entire website um, and let's just leave that how it is and let's just give this a name let's call this header let's click publish and let's go ahead and create our header okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go and create a, a, a header from scratch I'm just gonna grab um, a template that I already have using the elements kit it's a free plugin that you can install so you're gonna head over here and then go into headers and then we're just gonna select the header here and some of these are um, are in the pro version but we're just gonna be using the free version um, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one And then I'm gonna just add a menu here, add menu one. Okay, and let's just save this. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and make this header look more like my website, just so then I can have the right colors in. Because as you can tell, this doesn't really go with my website. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this color green here. And if you're wondering what this, um, extension is it's called the eyedropper uh, color picker you can go ahead and grab that in the chrome um, extension store so head back to your um, store here and then we're just gonna want to make this probably green no it does not actually look that great so let's go ahead and make this white make the icons white um, and you can do you can change this up however you like I just want to kind of I just kind of wanted to go with my website as well so let's gonna move this over here am I on the right one let me make sure I click this properly yes I am okay uh, for icons okay so that is gonna take way too long but let's just go ahead and do that real quick I'm actually just gonna delete these and I'm just gonna edit this last one all right and now we just want to maybe if you did want to add a different logo I'm gonna leave this logo but if you did just go ahead and click on this and add your logo there um, so let's go ahead and move this to the to the right you see how it's centered right now let's move it to the right 
Okay, I do like the search bar, so I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave that here. But if you did want to, you can remove that and then add the car icon menu here instead. But I am gonna actually change the color of this to green, to a green color. Okay. So now that we have that set up, it's now for the most important part, which is adding our menu cart. So now that you have it in here, it does work with Elementor. So you're just gonna wanna type in cart and it's gonna be this one right here. It's called the Woo Menu Cart Light. So you're gonna wanna grab that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and actually add a column. So let's add a new column. And now it is gonna move everything over. And it might shift things around a bit, but we just wanna we just wanna um kind of move it around and make it seem like it's make it look like it's um it's uh it's looking good. So probably want to move this a little bit over here and just make sure that everything is um, in line so with each other okay all right so let's go ahead and grab that cart again let's look for uh sorry <laughs> that didn't cap let's look for the car the cart and then we're gonna want to just drop it in there and you're gonna notice that it's kind of a little bit off right i mean it is a free plugin so it's not going to be perfect um, so what we're going to want to do is make sure you click on it and go into the advanced settings and we're going to want to um, fix it up with our margins. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is from, from the left, we're going to want to go, we're just going to want to bring it down to the negatives until we get it pretty centered where we want it. Um, I don't want to drag this too much. So let's just, let's make it like this. This should be pretty good. So move this over a bit. Okay, so that looks like a good spot. Now let's just bring it down fro from the bottom. I think it should be negative. No, you know what? Let's see here. Let's click on this section here and then make sure that you have this to set to middle. And then we're gonna wanna bring this down to negative. Okay. And then also bring it down to um, to the bottom negative as well until you reach the middle um, maybe bring this over a bit and then I kind of want to make this cart um, quantity icon want to make that into red so go ahead and click on the the cart and uh, head over to your style cart quantity background let's make this to a red but let's not make this a really bright red let's make it a lighter red and notice that it looks a lot better with that and then let's, um, the cart icon, instead of gray, we can make it really black or we can gray it out as, as well. Just make it a little bit darker gray. So now the only thing is that our colors are off. So we want to make this into a green color. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on, on the cart and then you're going to go into, um, the cart drop down, and then we're going to want to change the background color. So this is. This is a checkout button. So right here, we're going to want to make this that green color that we chose. And we should save this green color just in case we want to use it again. And let's check that out. OK, now that is looking really good. But we have a hover effect, which is green, which is not what we want. So let's go in here and let's go into the hover. And uh, this would be the amount cart. Um, let's see here. Let's see view cart. Um, I'm wondering if we can change that. If not, well then, let's see if there's a border type solid. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, so that would be for the box itself. Um, let's go ahead and actually remove this. So we have the checkout button. Hmm. Okay. Um, we can't add a hover to that, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to change the color of the border and let's see if there's a difference here. 
Let's see if that was it right there. That was not it. Okay. Let's see maybe if we add a one to that. Let's see if that works. That does not. Okay, so sometimes, like I said, with these free plugins, you tend to get little issues like this. Um, so it looks like we're not able to edit that that um, that little that little uh, border hover here, which is kind of a shame. But um, that's something that you're gonna need to just um, adjust with CSS if you want to fix that as well. But regardless, I don't think it's that noticeable to be honest, and it is a free plugin. Um, and and it honestly looks pretty great, you know, so I honestly wouldn't really um, complain about that um, So let's just make sure that it looks good on the website here Let's go ahead and over to our home page And as you can tell I did add a product here, but let me just go ahead and add this product Now these are just sample products keep in mind Okay, now look at that. Look how look how clean that looks. This looks really clean, right? Looks and it honestly looks way better than the the menu that I had before, the default menu on this website. So you can go ahead and add your logo here, and really set this up how you want this to look like. So, and you can even do this on the pro version as well. Um, but on the pro version, it would be the same thing. You just grab their cart that they already have by default same exact thing um, so let's just make sure that this looks good on mobile as well so as you can tell there are some little issues here that we do need to adjust so what I'm gonna do is probably shift this one over just like so that's fine and then let's go ahead and shift this logo as well the section of the logo and let's probably shift it to about you know what, we'll probably shift it over here. And we'll probably start on this side as well, right here. So then we're gonna move this over just about this. Um, sorry if there's any background noise. Okay. And then we're gonna move this over a bit here. And we're gonna save that, cause that is good. And then let's just adjust the mobile version of this. And I honestly usually do not like having a large button. Oops. Let me just remove that. Um, okay, so I usually don't have like having a large button. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make this uh, section invisible on um, on mo on mobile. So let's just put that to hide. And then let's go ahead and uh, shrink this logo here. At least adjust the column over and this one as well this will probably be at 10 maybe we can shift it over a bit as well and then maybe uh, shift this column a bit more and set it up just like that that is good there that honestly like everything works perfectly I know that the, the search kind of looks like it's too much so if you wanted to remove the search bar I would just go to responsive and hide the search bar and then also just move it over as well just seems like you have we have like way too much going on you know so yeah maybe shift this over a bit like I said um, shift this over a bit more. yeah there we go so we can shift it over about that and I, I don't I don't like how the top bar it seems like that's really close up so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna go ahead and hide this section here. I think the top bar is way too large. And I'm gonna add some spacing as well to this. So I'm gonna click on this section here, go to advanced, go to uh, pixels, and from the top, I'm just gonna bring it down a bit. Actually, you know what? I'm instead of margin, let's go ahead. I like to do padding instead. Let's do some padding here. And let's from the left as well, let's shift it over as well. And let's do the same thing for the right. Okay, now that looks pretty darn good. Oops, you know what? Let's zoom this. Okay. Now, as you can tell, you can see that, oh, the, the menu isn't showing right now. It's just glitching out. But believe me, um, 
it does work so I'm gonna actually show you I know that it doesn't want to show here let's go in here and then let me show you how this would look like so let's go into inspect and as you can tell everything works properly as well so oops that's just because I zoomed in um, so let me go back over here and then if you didn't want to edit this cart I would always see suggest move removing this logo but you can add a logo if you wanted to so that would just be the logo up here but um, I usually remove it it's up to you how you want to go about doing that I'm gonna click update and there you guys have it let me let it load let's actually go to the the home page okay all right so that is that is it if you did want to learn how to make this into a sticky header um, feel free to watch one of my other videos I go through that um, if the video did help you guys out make sure to subscribe and like the video um, so you can uh, catch up on the next videos that I upload to this channel and if you do need any help if you have any questions on WordPress in general or Elementor or WooCommerce um, feel free to reach out to me and I can go ahead and help you guys out. Um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.